it is normal for a baby to sleep uh, in a bizarre pattern sometimes they will sleep for about uh, five ten minutes sometimes for five hours so it, you can't say anything for definite they may sort of spit out things they may vomit a little bit soon after a feed or about an hour after a feed and that vomit may contain a lot of water a lot of you know uh, milk a lot of mucusy substance and even little foul smelling material that's normal Hello everybody, um, this talk today is intended for new, new mothers who have just given birth to a little one. There are lots of things which seem abnormal at this age for a baby, uh, but are actually within normal limits. Like for example, a baby at this age may sneeze about 20-30 times per day. That doesn't mean that the child has got a cold. The child may have hiccups, that doesn't mean that the child needs water. In fact, no baby needs water for the first uh, 6 months of age. It is normal for a baby to sleep uh, in a bizarre pattern. Sometimes they will sleep for about 5-10 uh, minutes, sometimes for 5 hours. So it, you can't say anything for definite. They may sort of spit out things. They may vomit a little bit soon after a feed or about an hour after a feed. And that vomit may contain a lot of water, a lot of you know uh, milk, a lot of mucusy substance and even little foul smelling material. That's normal. A baby swallows a lot of air when the baby sort of cries or you know feeds and that air can pass through the bottom so gas is essentially a normal part of a baby a baby may pass 24 stools in 24 hours can you believe it 24 stools in 24 hours absolutely loose watery semi-solid they might be greenish in color these are normal and that might happen after each feed a baby may pass one stool in five to seven days of time and the stools may be rock hard even maybe causing a little bit of bleeds through the uh, uh, anal uh, orifice so there's so many things which seem abnormal a baby may startle on a little bit of sound sometimes the hands and legs might shape a little bit when you hold them it stops sometimes they might you know wreathe a little bit that's nothing but the movements a baby was answer, having inside you so there are so many things which seem abnormal at this age but are basically within normal limits but what are the things which are really abnormal when you really need to get worried about if the baby is not feeding at all maybe one feed the baby will not feed so what but if the baby continuously refuses feed that's abnormal if the baby is vomiting consistently and a lot of vomit like 70% or 60% more than 60% of the feeds each and every time or if the vomit contains yellow substance this is abnormal if the baby is very lethargic, very drowsy, even after, you know, waking the baby up, the baby is absolutely lethargic or drowsy. That's abnormal. If the baby has difficulty in breathing, like breathing like, huh, huh, huh. you can see there's an effort of breathing and the chest is going in and out. That's abnormal. If the baby becomes blue or yellow, it's abnormal. So anything as a mother, if you feel is not right, you feel that your baby is not right, please call the doctors immediately. Please show a doctor your little one because babies don't give a lot of time. Now, a very few things about what you should do. Try to give breastfeeds as much as possible. As much as possible. Breastfeed is the best and there's no substitute. Only in very rare circumstances, if at all, in spite of your best efforts, you can't give uh, breastfeeds, then only think of dog pups, but try to breastfeed. Feed from both the breasts, 20 to 25, 30 minutes on each breast, but make sure that the baby is awake. So you wake the baby up, you know, pat the baby up, wake the baby up, make sure you burp the baby and feed. Do this continuously for a period of 20, 25 minutes on each breast and make sure that you take plenty of fluids, take a healthy diet and the more you feed, the more milk you are going to produce. Make sure you clean the child, 
the baby should have a regular soap bath right from the word go shampoo on all ten days give a little bit of oil massage coconut oil or olive oil massage before bath and a lotion massage after bath and at bedtime also make sure you give the vitamins which has been prescribed by your doctor and obviously you take care in the way that you give a proper hygiene to the baby so you need to clean your fingers clean your breast make sure you are clean and you take adequate care love is the most important thing so you should love and talk and there's no you know there's nothing called you know a uh, maximum amount of love you can give so similarly feeds as much as possible whenever the baby cries think that the baby is hungry that's the primary thing colics may come but the hunger is the main thing so whenever a baby cries make sure that the baby hasn't passed urine or stool make sure that the room is not very hot or very cold make sure the nose is not blocked so you can give a little bit of saline drops but make sure you feed and feed from both the breasts burp the baby feed even again because the primary cause why babies cry is hunger colic comes right at the end and don't forget to vaccinate your children vaccinate the baby as per the indian academy of pediatric schedule have a lovely motherhood and i make and keep sure that your baby is in the right place and in the right hands thank you so much